Hi everyone. Hi friends on Facebook. <laughs> I was just turning around and I was like, ah, I moved everything out of the way except for the trash can. Should have learned my lesson when I was doing an Instagram story and I had the trash can and all my mops in the background. So hi everyone. Um, I am in my laundry room and I am going to tell you guys a quick little story while I highlight and contour my face. I'm a little stuffy. I even have the redness below my nose to prove that I have been laying in bed with a cold, but I'm going to apply a little bit of makeup to brighten up my face, and I'm gonna just tell a quick story about, um, yes, I highlight and contour my face, but I'm going to talk about how I highlight and contour my, my life and how it's my, my passion to show other women how they can do the same thing too. Um, so yes, a lot of uh, metaphors will be being used here. <laughs> Try not to get too annoyed of me. Um, I'm going in here with my Detail Hack Brush. This is all I use to apply my foundation. I'm gonna dab it in here and brighten up underneath my eyes. So as you guys are popping in on here, whether you're watching the replay or you're live right now, I'd love if you could just tell me where you're tuning in from. Hi, Sarah. Um, if you're watching from the East Coast, West Coast, another country, let me know where my Facebook friends are at today. And if you're watching this on the replay, give me a hashtag replay so I can say hello to you as well. So, hi friends, I'm gonna tell a quick story. A little story, it's gonna get embarrassing. I've, I've never been really like scared to go live <laughs> and tell a story, but I was thinking about like what I could share. Thank you, Mom. Oh, you're welcome. I bought you that dinosaur today just so you could be a little bit quieter when I do this. Oh, you're so sweet. I love you. I love you, Clifford. Do you want to give me a kiss? Mm. Oh, thank you. So, the story I want to tell is so embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. I'm just going to say it. So, when I was in the seventh grade, <laughs> when I was in the seventh grade, I wanted to be a cheerleader so bad. Was it seventh grade? Yes, it was seventh grade. And I tried out, and you guys, I'm like fairly talented. Okay, in a minute. I'm like fairly talented in the seventh grade, Jackie self, and I was just pretty terrified. Okay, honey, I'll get to put on a show. And long story short, very long, long story short, it was very traumatizing to me. I did not make the cheer squad. <laughs> and it was really hard on me. Like it was so, so hard. It like is still to this day, like something that like really is a very pivotal moment in my life. And there's a point to this story, I promise. But basically, from that point forward in my life, I, like, instead of feeling so defeated, like I would never be good enough again, or like whatever, and again, I know this is very dramatic, but mind you, I'm in my teenage years, Very things are very dramatic. I made it a point that I was going to believe that even though I was semi-mediocre, I was going to be good enough, whether that be, like, I wasn't gonna let that stop me from doing other things, like whether it be other extracurricular activities, and it's kind of an intelligent thought for someone <laughs> that's 13, right? And I the, the reason I say that, say that story is because I know that we all have kind of a story like that where we feel super beaten down by something, or maybe we've attempted something and we didn't succeed. Let me say this. I failed many, many more times after that. <laughs> like, I did many other things. I remember I did I did track in high school. I was not very good at track. I cheered in college, and I was not the best cheerleader. If I have any of my friends watching, they can attest to that. But I was definitely not the best. But if I've learned anything in this life, it's that you don't have to be the best at everything to make all your dreams come true or to pursue the things that, or to, you know, go after the things that you want in life. Um, and I wanted to share that with you because that is exactly why I do what I do. Yes, I put on this makeup. I adore sharing it with my Instagram followers and especially those that have chronic illness because they have bad hands like me and we don't have a ton of time to, to be spending in front of the mirror. And that's amazing. I love getting texts, being told, you want to watch a show that, you know, I, that this makeup is amazing. It makes them feel beautiful and see their beauty. But I especially love being able to show women show. No. I especially love being able to share with women <laughs> that they are they are great. <laughs> I especially love that he gets to be right here as I work. Do you guys want to just be a pal? Would you guys be a total pal and just talk amongst, amongst each other as I <laughs> go and get him a show? Hang tight. I promise it's worth it. Come with mom. Sorry. <laughs> you 
you guys, I had to entertain Clifford. But anyway, so I had to share my vulnerable moment. And yes, it's annoying and it's like so cheesy that I use that as an example. But I use that as an example because it's always kind of been my <laughs> my dream. And my sisters, if they watch this live, if they've even made it this far, they usually hop off. They tell me I'm boring. <laughs> They tell me I talk too long, but they always have told me like, Jackie, you would be such a good life coach. And it's because I always, always, always believe in the underdog dog. And the reason I do, the reason I always believe in the underdog is because I am the underdog. Emotional. That makes me a little bit emotional. And, um, wow, that is like so crazy that it's making me cry. But, um, I have like always believed that, um, we don't have to be the absolute best at anything. We don't have to be um, super mom or super businesswoman or the best social media person or even um, the most talented at graphic design to share a message with the world. And so I'm talking even more so beyond my mascara family. So I love and adore my whole team that I, that I get to work with and that I, that I um, train to believe these core concepts, but even beyond that, I, t my overall mission and what I share on social media, on my Instagram, is that everyone has a message. Everyone has something that they can share with the world. I don't care who you are, how shy you are, how like non-eloquent at writing you are, or whatever it be, or like maybe you feel like a really crappy mom, or like you've accomplished nothing. I believe that everyone has something to share and I know deep down that everyone has a dream. Everyone has something that they are like wanting to accomplish in this life and that they want to like put out there whether it be like you're, you want to start your own floral shop or you want to like you know maybe you want to go to design school and you're 45 years old whatever that may be. Um, I, I believe that everyone should have the right to pursue that and um, I've been lucky to have found the vehicle that I'm in right now, which is the vehicle of mascara, as I get to teach women that and instill that confidence in them that might have been robbed from them over the years. Because I know many of us, and if you want to just give me a heart or an emoji and raise your hand if you feel like over the years you've lost your oomph or your ability to believe in yourself and what you want to accomplish. And um, I just, I feel like there is no need to lose that that even if we're, you know, I want to be saying this message even when I'm like 60 years old, that I still have the capabilities to go after the things I want, that um, just because you didn't make the cheer squad, <laughs> just because you didn't, um, I guess like metaphorically, just because that not all your dreams came true right away, or maybe you did pursue something and it didn't happen, so like maybe you started a blog and it flopped, or maybe you started an Etsy, Etsy shop and it wasn't a huge success. Um, I still believe that there are like, more than a million second chances for all of us to to pursue the things that um, we want, that we, we can have all of our dreams come true. And then again, I'm going to reference back to my sisters. <laughs> my sisters tease me all the time th that they, they tell me, I'm going to put on some illum illuminator. They always tell me, <laughs> one in particular, told me forever that fairy tales aren't real. And mostly she was meaning that in terms of like <laughs> marriage and um, love. <laughs> If you're watching, you know who you are. I'm laughing because it's hilarious. And um, but I personally believe that fairy tales, in terms of our our dreams of um, wanting to accomplish things, are totally real. I don't care if you have a million kids. I don't care if you have no kids. I don't care if you um, have a chronic illness that you feel like holds you back. You can still pursue the things that you that you want and that you've dreamt of and that dreams do come true in that aspect. I am so corny. Like, holy cow, my message is corny today. But I had to share it. That, um, no, my life is not perfect now that I do mascara. I love mascara. I love being able to work at home and have Clifford come and hug me <laughs> as I'm working. I love being able to do this full time and have the extra income, but I mostly love being able to work with women and teach them that their dreams are still in them and that we can bring them to life. And um, that is my most favorite part about what, what I do. I love this makeup. I think it's amazing. I especially love the creator. If you guys don't follow Kara, um, on, an, on Instagram, her, name, her handle is um, Mascara Beauty or just Mascara. She has an amazing heart and I just adore her as a woman and, and everything that she's done. Um, but, but more so than that, more so than this beautiful packaging, I love the people that I get to work with. I love being able to um, bring to life other people's dreams. 
Um, and that is why I do what I do. I, I was supposed to get on here and give like my elevator speech. That's what I told my team I was going to do. I was going to give my one minute speech. That wasn't one minute. That was like 10 minutes of crying and putting on a YouTube channel. <laughs> but I had to share that with the world because I'm so grateful and, um, Vulnerability is where amazing things happen. So here I am, world, being vulnerable, crying on a Facebook Live. Anyways, you were so sweet, Trisha. I, I adore you. You were one of my first customers and one of my followers for a very long time. Um, anyways, happy Thursday, everyone. Go pursue your dreams. Go. <laughs> this is the Tony Robbins and me coming out. But seriously, if you have had something that you've been throwing around in your head and just thinking like it could never happen or it's not for you, quit quit saying that because it totally is for you there is no better time than now to work on or to, to go after what you want I I just it make it breaks my heart when I talk to, to girls and they're like Jackie I just I gotta wait till I have a social media following before I put anything out there um, I gotta wait till my life calms down I've got too many things going around I've got too many callings going on. I have too many kids. I My husband says no. Um, that's always going to be there. That's always going to be there. And before you know it, you're going to be almost 30 or almost 40 or almost 50. And, and you're going to wish that you would have um, given yourself the chance. Because every single time you say that like it's not the right time, you're essentially telling yourself that you're not capable of it. And you are. Everyone is capable right here, right now, as is with the age you're at, the troubles you have. Um even like the weight, I don't know, so I know weight is a big thing for some people that they won't make videos because they feel like they're not beautiful enough yet, but right here, right now is exactly the right time to go after whatever it is that you have been wanting to do. And that is my message to the world. That is my mascara message. <laughs> that is how I highlight and contour my life, not just my face. Um, yes, Linda Palmer, even you do. You are an amazing woman, someone that has truly inspired me. Back in the day, I swore I was going to become a teacher because I wanted to be you. <laughs> and then I'm not a teacher. But I guess in a sense, I'm kind of a teacher. <laughs> Just not in elementary education. Anyways, happy Thursday, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.